During World War II, Hungary was one of Germany's allies with a significant domestic production of armored vehicles. While these locally produced vehicles were fine by the standards of the early war, unfortunately for the Hungarians, by the time these were fielded in larger numbers, they were already obsolete. To bolster their allies' firepower, during the war, the Germans supplied the Hungarians with a selection of armored vehicles, including a small number of the famed Tiger tanks in 1944. Welcome to a new Tank Encyclopedia voiced article. If you like our content, please do consider donating on Patreon or on PayPal. The funds donated by you are used for the amazing illustrations you see on our website and in our videos. Every little bit counts. By 1944, it was obvious that the Axis were on the losing side of the war. And due to the huge losses sustained while fighting on the Eastern Front, the overall military and political situation for Hungary was dire. In an attempt to leave the war, the Hungarian regent, Vice Admiral Miklos Horthy, secretly began negotiations with the Allies. It seems that this was not kept a secret, as the Germans found out about it and launched the Margaret operation. This was the German secret plan to deal with Hungary in case its government attempted to change sides during the war. Horthy was arrested and a puppet government was formed under the leadership of Dome Stoyai. This way, the Germans managed to force the Hungarians to stay active on the Eastern Front. The Hungarians deployed their first army in support of the German front line in Eastern Galicia. The second armored division, which was part of the first army, was equipped with obsolete Hungarian-built vehicles, such as the Turan 1 and 2 tanks. During its first engagement with the Soviet armor, the Turan 2 tanks claimed to have destroyed two T-34-85 tanks. During a short Axis offensive in this area in April, despite having a disadvantage in armor and firepower, the Hungarian tanks claimed to have destroyed 27 Soviet tanks with the loss of 22 of their own vehicles. It appears that the bravery of the Hungarian tank crews was noted by the Germans. By the direct orders of General Walter Model, the Hungarian 2nd Armored Division was to be reinforced with 10 to 12 Panzer IV aus H, a small number of Stug Fries, and even with a group of Tiger tanks. The German Tiger tank is one of the most iconic vehicles in history. While the development of a heavy tank began in Germany prior to the war, only after encountering the advanced Soviet tanks in 1941 was the whole program sped up. Two firms, Porsche and Henschel, were involved in designing the chassis of the new heavy tank, with Krupp being responsible for the turret and gun. While the Porsche design was initially favored, in the end, due to mechanical problems, the Henschel design would be adopted. The heavy tank that would be known as the Tiger was an immense vehicle, armed with a deadly 8.8cm gun and well protected by a 100mm thick frontal and 80mm side armor. With its weight of 57 tons, it was also a fairly mobile vehicle thanks to its strong 650 horsepower engine and wide tracks. By the time of its introduction in 1942, few enemy weapons were able to do anything against it and, with its gun, it could efficiently destroy any enemy tank. Its production began in August 1942 and ended in August 1944. By that time, only slightly more than 1,340 vehicles had been built. While certainly a terrifying tank to be encountered on the battlefield, it was far from perfect and was plagued with many problems. The cost to build one was significant, and this was one of the reasons why only small numbers were built. As there were never enough of them, they were allocated to separate special units that would be, depending on the need, attached to other larger units. Maintenance of these vehicles was time-consuming. The suspension system, while providing good drive, was overly complicated. Despite these issues, the Tiger tanks remained a potent threat to Allied tanks right up to the war's end. 
Due to the small numbers available, they were regarded as elite vehicles, reserved only for the German Panzerwaffe, but surprisingly few would be supplied to Germany's allies. It is common to find information that the supplied Tiger tanks belong to the 503rd Heavy Panzer Battalion. The 503rd was created in late 1942 and was initially equipped with 20 Tigers and 25 Panzer-free Aus Ends. From early 1943 until April 1944, this unit was mainly engaged on the Eastern Front. Then it was transferred to France for recuperation and conversion to Tiger II tanks. By that time, only 12 Tiger tanks were available for this unit. In order to fully equip it, 33 additional Tiger Ones were allocated to it. According to Jens and Doyle in the book Tiger One Heavy Tank 1942-1945, three Tiger tanks from the Ordnance Depot were delivered to the Hungarian army on 22nd July 1944. In addition, an unknown number of Tigers were acquired from the 503rd and 509th Heavy Panzer Battalions. The 509th Heavy Panzer Battalion was formed in September 1943 and had 45 Tiger tanks. It was engaged on the Eastern Front up to September 1944, before being sent back to Germany to be re-equipped with a Tiger II. The total number of supply tanks is not clear, but most sources give a number of around 10 vehicles. For example, authors Beskje in Magyar Steel Hungarian Armor in World War II and Steven Zaloga in Tanks of Hitler's Eastern Allies mentioned that 10 vehicles were supplied. However, according to Dr. Durden in the book Leopard's Guide the Tiger One Tank, between 6 and 12 Tigers were used by the Hungarians. Authors Clement and Bernard note that up to 15 Tigers were supplied. To complicate matters more, authors Lockmann, Freiherr von Rosen and Runel in the Combat History of German Tiger Tank Battalion 503 in World War II noted that no Tigers were ever supplied to the Hungarians. They also state that the 503rd Heavy Panzer Battalion gave all its surviving Tiger tanks to the 509th Heavy Panzer Battalion on the 14th of May 1944. While they state that Hungarian crew members were trained, due to a shortage of tanks, no Tigers were given to the Hungarians. They were instead issued with Panzer IV vehicles. Interestingly, author Finizio in Wheels and Tracks No. 27 suggests the possibility that some Hungarian tank crews operated Tiger tanks, but in German units. This significant disagreement between different authors shows how difficult finding accurate and precise information can be. Another issue is which type of Tigers were provided by the Germans. As it was late in the war, we can assume that any Tiger that was available was used for this purpose. So it would not be a surprise if this was a mix of early to late production types. Regardless of how many vehicles were supplied by the Germans, it was essential for the Hungarian crews to receive necessary training before they could even see combat. For this reason, some members of the 503rd Heavy Panzer Battalion served as instructors for their allies. While the majority of the 503rd was repositioned to France, the 3rd Company was chosen for this task. What was available of the 503rd's vehicles and equipment, including the 3rd Company, was therefore renamed to the 1st Tiger Demonstration Company of the 1st Panzer Demonstration Group, North Ukraine. The main base of this unit was Nadvorna near Stanislaw in South Poland. The Hungarians provided a group of tank crew members to be trained there. The training only lasted from 6 to 14th of May 1944 before the unit was disbanded. Interestingly, while it appears that during this occasion the Hungarians did not receive any Tigers, their high command awarded several German instructors with high military recommendations. These include Feldwebels, Fritz Grossmann and Herbert Schönrock, Obergefreiters Ernst Reinhardt, Gotthold Wunderlichen, and Gefreiter Hans Bartels. 
Ironically, while the information about these recommendations was found in Hungarian archives, these awards were never actually given to the German instructors due to political machinations. The Hungarian Tigers, alongside the remaining German-supplied vehicles, were allocated to the 2nd Armored Division, 3rd Battalion. They were divided into two tank squadrons. The 2nd Tank Squadron was commanded by 1st Lieutenant Erwin Tarzaj, probably the most famous Hungarian tank commander, and the 3rd by Captain Janos Verdes. Beside the German vehicles, the 2nd Armored Division also had some 40 Turan 1 and 20 Turan 2 tanks. Unfortunately, information about the Hungarian Tiger's performance in combat is hard to find. The following information is from the book Magyar Steel Hungarian Armor in World War II, supplemented with Russian archive documents. The Hungarian Tiger's first combat engagement took place on 26 July 1944 near Nadvornaya. It was a triumph. A single Hungarian Tiger ambushed a Soviet armored column, destroying eight Soviet tanks, several guns, and several transport trucks. For this successful action, the Tiger's gunner, Istvan Lavrenchik, was awarded with the gold medal for bravery. According to Russian archive sources, elements of the 1448th Self-Propelled Artillery Regiment were caught in this ambush. A group of five self-propelled guns which was supported with a reconnaissance detachment of the 985th Infantry Regiment, after leaving Nadvornaya, were on 26 July advancing towards Bogorodchani. The Hungarian forces prepared an ambush just before the position recorded as Hill 386. After letting the infantry support pass by, they waited for the advance of the Soviet armor. When the advancing Soviet armored vehicles approached at a distance of about 200 meters, the Hungarian tanks opened fire. In the ensuing engagement, the Soviets lost two self-propelled guns which were burned out and two which were knocked out, with the loss of four men dead and five more wounded. The fate of the fifth Soviet self-propelled vehicle is not clear. It could have already passed by with the reconnaissance detachment of the 985th Infantry Regiment, always left behind for some reason, but these are only speculations. The war diary of the 1448th Self-Propelled Artillery Regiment mentions that there were five enemy tanks, three of them Tigers, supported by an infantry company. The precise type of Soviet vehicles participating in this encounter is not clear, but it is likely that these were Su-122s, as the Hungarians could easily have misidentified them as T-34 tanks. The Hungarians attempted a counter-attack against the Soviets near the Ostre region. The counter-attack failed, and the Hungarians were forced to abandon one Tiger and one Tarantu tank at the intersection of the road in Lyakovica. In total, the Soviets reported to have lost four self-propelled guns, with four men dead and eight wounded. The Soviets also reported to have burned down two enemy tanks in the Bania district. In addition, they captured four enemy tanks, with one Panzer IV in working condition, destroyed 12 machine guns and three mortars, killed up to 150 soldiers and officers, and captured 75 enemy soldiers. The question remains which sources to trust. For both sides, it was in their interest to falsify the data for propaganda reasons. The Hungarian Tigers are also claimed to have managed, during a 30-minute long fight, to take out around 14 Soviet tanks near Hill 514, possibly near Dolina, but the precise location and date of this action is not specified in the source, unfortunately. If these numbers of destroyed tanks were real or exaggerated for propaganda purposes is almost impossible to tell. In the following days, Despite these short-term successes, the few Tigers could not change the overall war situation for the Hungarians. By the middle of August 1944, the Axis forces, including the Hungarian First Army, were pushed back to the Carpathian Mountains. It seems that, by this time, the Hungarians had lost at least seven Tigers. While not all were combat losses, some were lost due to a general lack of fuel and spare parts. 
The Hungarians did not have any kind of towing vehicle capable of moving the huge tigers, which also presented a problem with recovering any damaged vehicle. From this point on, it seems that the surviving tigers were probably pulled back to Hungary. They may have also been returned to the Germans, as author Dr. Durden in The Tiger One Tank by Leopard's Guide suggests. But once again the sources are conflicting. In late August 1944, the Romanians changed sides and joined the Soviet Union, and almost immediately engaged with the Hungarians in combat. The second armored division was part of the Hungarian offensive towards Romania. If the Tigers were used there is unknown, but it is unlikely. Due to the increasing presence of the Soviet army, the Hungarians were beaten back. The second armored division would be reinforced with new German vehicles, including Panther tanks. The Panthers were used by the second tank squadron, commanded by 1st Lieutenant Irvin Tarzai. The majority of the 2nd Armored Division would be destroyed during the Siege of Budapest. The few elements that avoided destruction managed to reach Slovakia, where the last armored vehicles were blown up by their crews. The final fate of the Hungarian Tigers is not clear. Author Beskse, in Magia Steel Hungarian Armor in World War II, notes that at least three vehicles were lost in Transylvania due to a lack of fuel and supplies. Author Finizio, in Wheels and Tracks No. 27, claims that at least four Tigers were reported to be in repair in December 1944. By the end of January 1945, by the end of January 1945, one Tiger was reported to be still operational. The Tigers were the strongest armored vehicles that the Hungarian armored force operated during the war. While certainly deadly, they were supplied in too small numbers and too late to really have an influence on the war's development. Despite fielding obsolete tanks, the Hungarians managed to destroy many Soviet vehicles. This shows that while the Hungarians lacked modern equipment, they did not lack effective tank crews. Had the Germans supplied them much earlier in the war with more modern equipment, the Hungarian tank force may have been a more important element in the war in the East.